Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for T's. We have been solving T's math problems out of this book here, the T's Official Study Guide, version 7, 2025. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Always make sure that this book is in front of you when we are working together. Today is our lesson number 20. We are on page number 111. On the bottom of page 111, there are some quantities like there are some quantities that are given to us, and we are being asked to round these quantities to the nearest one digit or unit digit. Same thing, whether you call it one digit or unit digit is the same thing. Let's take a look at it. There are just a few of them. We just going to knock them down one after the other. Here's the first one. The very first one is 1 over 12. And our job is to round it to nearest ones, one digit or unit digit. Here's the concept. The concept is this. Since you see 12 at the bottom, we are going from 0 to 12. That's what we are doing. Halfway in between is 6. Which means anything that is 6 or above is going to round it up. Anything that falls below 6 is going to be rounded down. That's all. We just have a 1. So when you round 1 12 to the nearest 1's, it becomes a 0. You understand? Let's, do the, let's take a look at the next one. For example, the next one is... For example, the next one is... 5 12. Well, 5, 5 is still less than 6 because half a mark, because the half a mark for 12 is 6. 5 is still less than 6, it's rounded, it's rounded lower. How about next one? 7, 12. Ah, now we are talking. 7, 12. Since 7, since 7 is equal to or more than 6, that's how you have to say it. Don't say more than 6 because even if it's equal to, it will be rounded up. 7, 7, since 7 is more than or equal to 6, is rounded up to 1. And since we are talking about it, why don't we write it down? 6 over 12, 6 over 12, which is only a half, but is rounded up. That's all. Let's do one more. How about 7 and 3 eighths? Well, again, we don't have to draw a picture every time. We can quite understand that now we are dealing with a scale of 8. If you are dealing with a scale of 8, the halfway mark is 4. If it is 4 or if it's four or more, it is going to be rounded up. If it is less than 4, you are going to round it down. This is only a 3. 3 of course is less than, less than 4. So when you round it down, 7 and 3, it just becomes 7. How about 7 and 5 8. Oh, there we go. Now we are talking since 5 is more than or equal to 4. That's how we speak. Since 5 is more than or equal to 4, it's going to be rounded up. How about, how about, seven, and, how about 7 and 4 8? 7 and 4 8, since 4 is more than or equal to 4, 4 is not more than 4, but 4 is equal to or more than 4. It is equal to and there is an OR part. So this is exactly the halfway point. Again it will be rounded up. Let's do one more. How about 19 and 9 20th? For the 20th the halfway mark will be 10. 9 is less than 10. So it's going to be rounded down. How about 19 and 13 20th. 13 of course is more than 10. It just needs to be more than or equal to. Even if it were 10 it will still be rounded up. Since 13 is more than 10, the 19 and 13 20th becomes 20. How about 19 and 10 20th? Again that will become 20 because it's exactly the halfway mark. Let's do one more. What about three and quarter? Three and quarter when it's rounded to the nearest unit digit, nearest unit digit or nearest ones, that's how we say it, ones digit, ones or unit digit, same thing. Now we're dividing into four. 
from 0 to 4. The halfway mark is exactly 2. It's only 1, so it's going to be rounded to 3. How about 3 and 3 and 3 quarter? 3 and 3 quarter, when it's rounded to nearest unit digit, it will become 4, because now we are here. Let's do one more. How about 3 and 3 fifth? Well, now we're dealing with 5, so we go from 0 to 5, and the halfway mark is 2.5. Is this guy equal to or more than this guy? Of course, 3 is more equal to or more than 2.5, so when you round it to the nearest unit digit, it becomes 4. On the other hand, 3 and 2 fifth will, will, would have remained 3. Let's do one more. How about 104 seventh? 104 seventh. Now we're doing a scale of 7. The halfway mark is exactly 3.5. Is 4 equal to or more than 3.5? The answer is yes. 4 is equal to or more than 3.5. In other words, we are either here or to the left of it. So when you round it, when you round this thing to the nearest one digit, it becomes 101. It becomes 101. That was the end of the show. Amen. Bye now.